because it always catches you at the weird moment, you know, <laughs> whenever you do these Facebook lives, it's like all of a sudden you're, you know, you got like a weird face or something going. And then that's, that's where it freezes. So when everybody goes to your page, they Hello. see like some kind of psycho crazy man. <laughs> anyway, how you doing over there, Claudia? Funny. I'm good, Danny. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. I'm excited to uh, for today's podcast because you were very helpful when my wife was pregnant with our two kids. So we're going to talk about oh, pregnancy. Yeah. I also want to talk about the uh, Mid American Health Organization conference that you just got back from. Yeah. So if you're ready, let's roll. We're ready. I'm ready. Good Health by Claudia podcast with me, Denny Schaefer, a production of Denny Radio. It's episode 39. Yes. <laughs> We are going to talk pregnancy, pregnancy today. Do you have an announcement, Claudia, for the, for the viewers about pregnancy? Well, just that it's a wonderful thing to feel good. Through no, no, I wasn't talking about that. I thought maybe you had some news. Me? But yes. I'm hey. 65 years young. No, hey. I'm... It's possible. It's happened. There's people in India in their 70s. Yeah. Oh, boy. I know that. God bless them. Now our boys are grown. and. Could you imagine chasing a toddler around at no, our age? I think it, no. It's, no. I have one I, word. You know what? Every How many grandparents, grandchildren are so beautiful, but they all are tired after they've spent a exactly. <laughs> time chasing the kids around. Exactly. That's why it's meant to have children when we're younger, huh? Yep. Before we introduce our guests, I got to run our disclaimer. The information contained in these podcasts is not intended to diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease or health condition. Please consult a qualified healthcare professional if you have a medical condition. The FDA has not evaluated the information on this podcast, which represents the opinions of the hosts and our guests. Yes. Now, before we bring in Jamie, tell me about the Mid American Health Organization conference that you were at all weekend long. So we have wonderful, uh, our, our industry is amazing. And it's always my hope and my prayer that the American people really understand what an amazing industry the, the natural products industry is. Uh, for years, we've had regional conferences all around the country, and we do extensive training and learning about everything to do with health at these conferences. So this particular conference, covers the mid-American states. And um, it's always in our uh, um, conferences, been in Columbus for many, many years, which is very nice. We can drive there, it's close to home, but it's a great conference. And this particular, the regional conferences are only for independent health food stores. So this is where over the years, we gather tremendous, tremendous understanding about the human body, the, 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 the most current research and what is being found with the human body and how it functions and supplementation. And I'll tell you, I always, I'm so grateful to be a part of this industry. I say it all the time. And if everyone truly learned, if every American truly learned what we teach in health food stores, as, as we learn it from some of the brilliant, we have brilliant people in our industry, brilliant researchers, brilliant docs, there's brilliant herbalists, and there's brilliant, they're all, they're amazing, amazing people. And um, on the cutting edge of nutritional understanding and education. So that's where uh, Janet, our, our supplement buyer, she does a wonderful job. Um, that's where her and I were. And morning tonight, it was classes filled with just learning cellular biology and understanding more about the microbiome and the gut and how everything they're finding, you know, they're, they're, the research is happening quickly about so many things about supplements and, you know, which, which includes vitamins, minerals, amino acids, herbs. So it, everything is advancing. And that's why when, you know, the other day I had a, a, a customer tell me her doctor said, all oh, those those, those, those supplements don't work. And it saddens me when I hear a doctor in this day and age out in the world say that. It's like, come on, people. There's so much research on all of this. And some of the best universities in the United States are advancing this research. So at this point, anyone that says, oh, that stuff is quackery and doesn't have, you know, there's no substan nothing substantial, no substantial research behind it. It's just not true. So I'm very proud to be a part of this industry. These uh, conferences are fantastic. We have a lot of people there. 
we had, um, it, and again, the regional conferences are a little smaller. We had about 90 um, family owned, independently owned vendors there, companies. Uh, and as I said, this conference is only open to people that own independent health food stores. So it's a very cool environment. A um, lot of learning, a lot of education, amazing stuff. So I think a good question, if somebody runs into that with their doctor and they say, that's quackery, just look them in the eye and say, how do you know that? Exactly. Back exactly. it up with some research. Show exactly. me some sites I can go to because we can show you hundreds of sites. Exactly. A real testimony, myself included, of how much supplements and shopping at Claudia's Health Food Store has helped me and my family. I mean, it, this wow, is just amazing. Yeah, it's so. amazing stuff. And I, I think it's fair to say that, you know, knowledge about natural health has been really suppressed in this country in many ways. And because of all, and you guys hear me say this all the time, because of the independent health food stores in the United States, this is why this knowledge still remains today and why it's being advanced because without the voice reminding people how beautiful our body is designed the the power of our immune system of our of the whole system the way it works synergistically with each other it's all connected and when you nourish it with the proper tools amazing things happen so i'm very grateful to be in the industry i'm in and that's why we do the podcast. And that's why we do the podcast. Just want to share all this wonderful knowledge. And, you know, today we have a great company on. And Jamie, we're going to bring her on in a little bit. Uh, these are very knowledgeable, heartfelt people in our industry. We're not here screwing around. We're, <laughs> we take health and wellness very, very seriously. So it's a beautiful thing. So let's bring our guest on. It's uh, Jamie McEwen. She is the educator for Wish Garden Herbs. It's a women-owned and family-run company since 1979. They're all about making effective liquid herbal extracts and intent on leveraging herbalism's rightful place in modern healthcare. And today yes. we're talking pregnancy. Jamie, welcome to the podcast. Hi, welcome. Denny. Hi, Claudia. This is so great. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being with us. So when my wife got pregnant with Olivia, by the way, it was her 22nd birthday on Sunday. I can't oh, believe congrats. it. congrats. Happy birthday, Olivia. She's 22. Wonderful. It's She's unbelievable. Adorable. I remember I'm on the radio. I'm talking about, you know, Sharon's pregnant. And who do I get a call from? Claudia. Is she on prenatals? <laughs> what is she taking? I need you to stop in the store on your way home. We got to mm -hmm. get Sharon on the right stuff. And guess what? The stuff she had from the doc, we threw out. The stuff we used was the stuff we got from Claudia, and I still believe that her pregnancy went much better and much smoother. She wasn't uh, sick either pregnancies. She was at the beginning, but once she started taking the stuff that you gave her, yeah. uh, it, it made a huge, huge difference. So, Jamie, that is what their company does. So, Jamie, tell us okay. about it. So, Wish Garden Herbs started in 1979 by a midwife. This was a perfect moment in history where, um, you know, there was a return uh, to natural birth. The midwives were trying to reclaim their position in birth and wellness. Um, and, you know, the Western system sort of said, that's great. You can do your home birth stuff. That's cute. But you cannot carry pharmaceuticals. Right. And so the midwives were sort of like, all right, well, we'll just go back to the plants, the herbs that have been used for thousands of years to support women through pregnancy, birth and postpartum. Um, there was a, a midwife named Barbara Wishingrad in uh, Boulder, Colorado, who started the company just making formulas for her clients on the pregnancy journey. And those were our origins. Um, our current owner, Catherine Hunziker, uh, also a trained midwife and herbalist. And then she took the company over in 1987 and grew it into what it is today. Uh, so even though we have, you know, a couple, you know, 100 plus products for the whole family, kids and uh, adults and women, Pregnancy still remains the heart of the company and a hugely robust uh, pregnancy audience out there. Claudia, you have some products you want to want to. Yeah, show and or? I just want to say I'm grateful that you guys carry on the knowledge because, as we always talk about, herbs have been on this have been documented for thousands of years. Yes, and uh, apparently they worked because we're all still here to talk about it. So, <laughs> so we're grateful. So. Uh, we're going to start with a couple. So let's start with, this is called Baby Blues. This is for pregnancy. 
-hmm. Now, I know there's been, wait a minute, can you see it? Yep. Yeah, perfect. Yes. There. Um, so tell us about this particular product, why it was created. This is a great formula. Yeah. So, um, and just, I think you were alluding to, we had a, a kind of a makeover recently. So we updated our labels. I can show you what the new pregnancy labels look like. This is not the exact same formula, but this is what the new look is. Okay. Uh, Baby Blues is now called Postpartum Emotional. We always are trying to make things as approachable as possible, give yes. people the connection to why they want to be taking it. And postpartum emotional is a beautiful formula. So we know after giving birth, hormone levels change quickly. Yeah. They drop off a cliff and then we go on a little roller coaster of getting back to normal. So it's very, very normal postpartum to have these emotional ups and downs, right? Mm -hmm. You sort of feel overwhelmed in certain moments, irrationally kind of, um, you know, sad or, or angry or just overwhelmed. Um, so postpartum emotional, one of the big things at Wish Garden that we um, remind people that plants can do is work in five minutes. We can get you five minute symptom relief from plants and that is exactly what postpartum emotional is doing. So when you're in the midst of one of those overwhelming moments, you take the postpartum emotional and very quickly it helps to support a lift in the spirits, sort of a relax of the overwhelm. It's really working on the nervous system with a little support of the hormones, which is of course what's going on postpartum. Mm -hmm. So this is great in the moment relief from those overwhelming emotional moments postpartum. And, and that's exactly the feedback we've had on that product. Women feel it pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And they'll come in and say, geez, what does it work? Actually their husbands will come in and say, hey, does it really work that fast? Well, I say, well, do you, did you see it work that fast? And they'll say, oh, yeah. So yeah. it's a wonderful product. So Yeah, I'd you? like to buy a gallon of that, as the <laughs> dads would say. But I, let me just say something, joking aside, you know, I, I didn't really realize how real postpartum depression, postpartum, whatever comes along with it, anxiety, everything. I didn't realize how real it was until I, my wife called me one day. It was maybe a few months uh, after Olivia was born, she goes, you need to come home and come home now. Cause I did the morning show then. So I, I, I drove home and I walked in and physically her face didn't look the same. Mm -hmm. She looked like a different person mm -hmm. and because she was suffering through postpartum. And so what did I do? Of course, send her right to Claudia and, and it, it works. I mean, it's real and it works. So thank you, Jamie, for, for products like this on behalf of moms and dads everywhere. Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. And it, it is very real. Hormones are um, a big, big area of our health and they change. There's many phases for you know men and women, but especially women where hormones go through significant changes and postpartum is one of those big significant changes. And sometimes the body just has a harder time navigating the shifts in the hormone levels. And this is where some of the symptoms come from. Um, and so using plants as a as an option, as a first line of defense to support the body in processing all those hormones, it's real, it's powerful. It's definitely something I love for every postpartum mom yeah. to have in her toolkit. And I always say, especially with that formula, get it on hand before you deliver. After delivery, as I'm sure you guys know, things get crazy. It becomes all about the baby. The mom loses focus on herself and an issue comes up and you don't have time to okay, which health food store carries this? I mean, if you live near right. Claudia, great. But if you don't, you know, you got to run around and, and find it. So buy it before you deliver so it's ready there to use the moment you need it. And we always, we I always remind people, there's beautiful independent health food stores all over the United States. Go find them in your neck of the woods. They're there to support you and they love your support and it all works beautifully together. But, you know, with this, this product is an example of when we nourish and balance, the human body is able to do amazing things. And, you know, unfortunately, a lot of women going through postpartum, they go to the doctor and, you know, we know what the, they're written a script, which oftentimes just makes things even more difficult, more challenging. Mm -hmm. So always nourish first, everybody. So uh, do you want to go over just a few things or St. John's Ward in this formula? Uh, what else is in here? Uh, yeah, I don't I don't have the product in front of me, so you're going to have to rattle off the ingredients. For me. <laughs> so or we just go on to the next product. <laughs> All right. But I just wanted to talk about just real quick. There's St. John's Ward in here, Passion Flower, Damiana, Black Cohosh, 
dandelion and motherwort. So yes. motherwort's a beautiful herb. It what you see in this formula is a combination of nervous system support, right? That's your motherwort and your passion flower. We want to yes. calm that sort of um, frazzled nerve feeling. Yes. You see liver support in there. Liver is so important when it comes to hormones. The liver is where we're going to help um, support hormone metabolism in the body. That's where things can get a little stagnant sometimes. So always important to see liver herbs. St. John's, beautiful plant for supporting a, a lift in the spirits. Lift in the spirit, yes. Motherwort specifically affects the heart. Um, so yeah, that's what we're looking at in a, in any of our hormone support formulas, that combination of the nervous system, the liver, you know, but we're always picking the specific plants based on the exact way they impact our physiology, right? Because yes. sometimes we get a little, um, broad in herbalism, like, oh, this is a hormone balancer. This is a nervine, but we really want to get the specific one. And that is what yes. our formulator Catherine is so brilliant about is picking the exact right plant for the specific moment. It's why we have so many formulas because everyone experiences these things differently. Right. Um, so yeah, the, the and plants I, and speak I do, to us. I mean, some companies put a lot of herbs in one product and I love that you guys keep it minimal and to the point. So mm -hmm. beautiful product. Okay, next one we're gonna talk about, and I know that you said this has a different name now, more, more, what's it? More better belly. <laughs> yes, formerly Mo Better Belly, now called Digestive Rescue. You see that? Yeah, yep. perfect. Yep, yep. So Mo digestive belly. Mo Betta Belly, uh, Digestive Rescue is its new name. Um, so Digestive Rescue, we actually have a version of this for adults, normal, all of us normal people, uh, for pregnancy and for kids. So we're all about the whole family at Wish Garden. What Claudia showed us was our pregnancy specific formula. So in that formula, you're looking at peppermint, fennel, and catnip. This is designed now, um, this is not really a morning sickness remedy since we're talking pregnancy, right. just to distinguish. Yes. This is going to be your more later stages pregnancy, all the normal digestive stuff that that still happens. I always joke, it's so unfair that that all the normal life stuff has to happen when you're pregnant, like allergies and digestive ups. You should get a free pass from all of it. But it still happens. So the things like, you know, you're feeling a little of that nausea, indigestion, bloating. You've got this this baby sharing space with you, it gets harder to um, for your digestive system to do its thing. So digestive rescue is also in the moment support, going to help to you know calm all those symptoms going on in digestion. So it works really quickly. And then also for somebody who maybe struggles with more uh, regular digestive issues, um, you can take that in what we call tonic use, which would be two servings a day on a regular basis to support mm -hmm. the health of the digestive system. But my favorite way to use that formula would just be in the moment, the symptoms pop up, we want that fast relief, um, and that's what Digestive Rescue is supporting. Uh, we also, in the, in the adult version of that, we have ginger in there, one of my all-time favorite uh, herbs. In the pregnancy version, we leave it out. We actually leave ginger out of all of our pregnancy formulas because we find constitutionally, some women do great with it, some mm -hmm. don't. Right. So we let them choose. If you love ginger, if ginger you know, makes your life better in pregnancy, you know, supplement with that, add it on, get the lozenges. But in our formulas, we leave it out to have a ginger-free option for people. Yes. So, and actually that formula, whether somebody's pregnant or not, is going to help their digestive, you know, it's going to give them digestive support. It's a great formula. Absolutely. That's a great point. Just because these are pregnancy products, it means they're pregnancy safe. It exactly. does not mean other people, people always will say, oh, I can't take that out. I don't want to get pregnant or I'm not pregnant. It's like, no, no, it's just, it just means <laughs> it's safe for pregnant people, but anyone can use it. And I think that that's important. Herbs are very powerful. And for those of us trained in them over the years, there, because remember, all herbs have actions. We always talk about that with everybody. So there are certain herbs that you don't want to take when you're pregnant. Yes. It's very, very important. It's not that they're bad or dangerous. It's that they're not meant to be used during pregnancy. Exactly. So these products are geared specifically for safety during pregnancy. So that's yeah. very cool. Yes. Next one we're going to talk about is Immune Boost. Mm. Great yep. formula. One of my favorites for pregnancy. Yeah. So the thing to know about immune boost, uh, we, we all know we have this complex, amazing immune system. I think in the past few years, people finally realized that they have an immune system exactly. and that they need to take care of it. Exactly. 
Um, and there's different ways to support the immune system, but what Immune Boost is doing, it's, it's a tonic formula. So once again, what that word means is that we can use it on a regular basis. Yes. There are some certain formulas that are meant to activate an immune response in the moment. That's when we say immune, you know, we want to boost our immune response. Yes. Um, but this is about nourishing the immune system, which is so important in pregnancy because it's actually not great to activate an immune response in pregnancy. The immune system is always looking for things it sees as other, and we don't want it to see the baby as, you know, a foreign entity. Right. So right. this is all about nourishing the body. We look at um, supporting the liver, supporting the lymphatic system, supporting pH levels. So basically the idea here is let's optimize our health. So the immune system, when it's needed, if a germ or a bug does try to invade, the immune system is is undistracted and ready to do its thing and, and work efficiently for you. So taking immune boost, now you don't have to take it throughout the whole pregnancy unless you're high risk. Like if you have other little kids at home, you work in the public and you're worried about your exposure, it can be great to take immune boost throughout your pregnancy. You can also save it for the winter season, the back to school season, the times when exposure is higher. But this is designed for the one or two servings a day on a continuous basis to strengthen the way your immune system works versus yes. it's not really about activating it in the moment. So right. it's a beautiful formula to nourish immunity and can be taken postpartum as well. And that was a very nice uh, explanation of the difference between herbs that are tonic herbs, meaning they're nourishing yes. versus herbs that are saying, hey, come on, wake up and get going. Exactly. So, yeah. Like it's I said earlier about our five minute symptom relief, many of our formulas are about five minute symptom relief and plants can absolutely do that. But that's one strategy for certain situations. Other uh, herbs are going to be taken more on a regular basis. And it really is about what's the uh, condition or issue that you're looking to work on. If you're yeah. trying to, you know, you have a little tummy ache and you want to knock that out five minute symptom relief, we can do that. But if you are worried about the strength of your immune system, that's where we want to look at daily nourishment through tonic use of herbs. Yes. And that's the beauty of nature's pharmacy, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. vast. It's magnificent. It's an amazing, amazing uh, toolbox for human health. So all these herbs have a different purpose and uh, you guys have put them together in a beautiful <laughs> way. So, so the next I want to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about a couple products for kids. Yep. Um, this is Kick It Allergy. Kick It Allergy. Can yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep, Kick It good. Allergy for kids. So um, our allergy line, we also have a kick-ass allergy for adults and one for pregnancy and then the one for yeah. kids. So once again, we're all about the whole family. Uh, we like to make the versions that are safe and appropriate for kids and pregnancy. What we're seeing uh, recently, we're actually seeing a huge surge in the popularity in our kids' formulas, which makes me so happy because I think it's an it's a natural extension as of having the pregnancy remedies because women will take these formulas in pregnancy, they see that they were safe and supportive, and then they have their kids and they're like, oh, I have safe effective remedies for my kids as well. And it becomes a whole life cycle. So the kick it allergy is all about once again, in the moment relief, which is so awesome, because it's it's hard to do this naturally, right? We have the allergy symptoms, your the stuffiness, the congestion, the itching, all that that awful stuff that comes with allergies. And so what this formula is doing is we're using plants to support a healthy histamine response to support a healthy immune response, and to give some relief from those allergy symptoms in the moment. So you wait to take it until you're you're experiencing the symptoms, and then you use it for in the moment relief. And um, one of the plants I like to highlight uh, in that formula, which we use a lot at Wish Garden, is called Yerba Santa. Yes. It's one of our all-time favorites. It's a, a Southern California native plant, um, and it's one of our most incredible native plants. It's it's powerful to support the respiratory immune system, uh, mm -hmm. to support a healthy histamine response. Whenever you're working on in-the-moment allergy relief, you really, really want to see your basanta in a formula, which yes. we use quite extensively. And so that is lovely relief for when your kids are experiencing some of those allergy symptoms. And um, I also want to give a little, a few tips on uh, getting kids to take herbs, because this is the biggest question I get from parents. Like, how do I get my kids to take them? So Tip number one, start them as young as humanly possible. Right. I have a nephew who is, I think, a year and a half right now. 
my sister started him on herbs from a couple months old and now yeah. he takes them like a champ, right? If they don't know any different, they're gonna grow yeah. up taking exactly. them. Yeah. Um, and also if your kids do have a more sensitive palate, um, you can hide it, right? You can put it in a little juice, some some tea. I always tell parents, if your kids are really sensitive, put it in some soup, right? Because in a savory product, they're not going to pick up the the bitter herbs. So do what you have to do to to get it in their little bodies. Um, but we, you know, I, I know it can be difficult to get kids to take herbs, but it's so nice to have this uh, safe option for them. I'll tell you, when the boys were little, I would, you know, if they needed golden seal, which is a beautiful, wonderful, powerful herb, but not great tasting, yeah. I just, you know, shoot, put it right in their mouth. And <laughs> just like you said, they grew up with it. They didn't know yeah. any different. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And, you got and, the because I said so technique. I, <laughs> I use that with my kids. Uh -huh. right, Claudia, you got a couple more products to well, show before wanna, we're done? Yeah, I just want to say real quick. You know, we all know allergy type symptomatic issues are up. Denny and I, uh, Denny, you and I talked about this recently, right? We went over some, some different products. And so even people that have never experienced allergy type symptoms are now coming in saying, geez, what do you have for every age? So yep. it's a great product. Yep. Um, okay. Last one I brought is Kick It Cough for kids. Yes. So this is another lovely uh, symptom relief formula. It can be used either in the moment or if you have a kid who's, you know, they've got the ics, the, the germs have gone around, they're not feeling well. You might want to give a few servings throughout the day to help them really uh, kick the issue. Uh, so the Kick It Cough um, that has Whorehound. Now, Whorehound, ironically, is one of the herbs, H-O-R-E, uh, H-O-U-N-D. <laughs> I saw Denny's face. I saw him say about that. Probably don't want to Google that and hit images. <laughs> Yep, every time, just spell it with an H. Um, so whorehound is one of the plants people have actually heard of because there are lozenges that have been around for a couple, like 150 years uh, that are used conventionally. Uh, so whorehound is an incredible plant for respiratory immune health and to help support a cough response. So um, yeah, you will see whorehound in candies uh, traditionally. Uh, you also have red root in there, which is great for lymphatic support. The lymphatic yeah. system is a crucial system involved in immunity and it needs to be supported because it doesn't have a pump mechanism so we need to support the movement of the lymph yes. um, and wild cherry wild cherry is the lead herb in kick it cough so wild cherry phenomenal herb to kind of soothe all those discomforts uh, to help support the immune system so what we're looking at with that formula is cough it, you know coughs are very common in kids when germs go around and we want to help support some gentle symptom relief for them get them feeling better help them get some more restful sleep because if yes. a cough is keeping you awake your immune system can't do its thing uh, can't get the rest it needs so yep so taking that formula in the moment can help to uh, sort of soothe an active cough and then a few servings throughout the day can help us move the the issue on out through immune response yeah so that's what we're going to talk about today. You guys have a lot of other great products. In fact, a couple months ago, I had a guy that came in and he says, well, my wife brought, bought this stuff called Kick-Ass Immune. He says, I don't even take herbs, but I like the name of it. So I started taking it. He goes, I actually feel better. It was yeah. cute. Yeah, so. that's, that's exactly why we have the fun names, right? We want it to be playful. Our goal at Wish Garden for 45 years has been to bring the mainstream into herbalism. We're not yes. trying to preach to the choir. We're trying to reach out to an audience yes. that maybe would feel intimidated by this. And we want to remind them how safe and powerful plants can be. And I love that because that's the whole point of our podcast is to reach everybody out there and, and just have them learn and understand and want to embrace these things in their life. So they're great products. Jamie, thank you so very much. Thank you, guys. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Well, Thank you, Jamie. Ho hopefully, hopefully you'll be back on again. Would love to. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Many blessings to you. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow. Another awesome interview, Claudia. That was good, huh? It's like week after week. It's, it's wow. You just keep hitting a home run. You're awesome. Oh, this is, well, there's all, listen, health food stores are filled with these amazing products that most America doesn't know about. So God willing, we're going to be able to teach whoever's willing to hear it, everything that they have access to. So so let me ask you a question before we're done. You were just yeah. at the Mid-American Health Organization conference yes. over the weekend. Yeah. What was the overwhelming, like, 
uh, vibe and attitude for the industry and going forward? Because we we all know there's evil forces out there, big pharma, <laughs> big pharma, <laughs> trying to destroy you guys. Um, what what is the mood of all the independent health store owners? You know, it's I I I think it's improving. We're we're working on. Um, we need to, you know, health food stores and the owners, people that work in health food stores have been beat up by, for years by, you know, the media and all of it, all the influences that are not in the business of wellness. So, um, and we've, we've, we've been around many, many years. I mean, our organization is, you know, as an industry, we've been around since the early 1900s. And um, so, Overall, we're we're working on getting everyone to um, we, we want to keep teaching people support the independence because that's where the knowledge is. Yep. You know, it's different from you walk in a big box store, you buy something. In fact, I'll tell you something that came up at this conference and several of the uh, presentations and they were all fantastic, informative, um, everybody. Anyway. They were talking about a lot of the scam products, the um, uh, the the the, the uh, what do you call them when they mimic a product, a, a well-known product. There, people are buying a lot of uh, mimicking. I forget the word I'm trying to say. What am I trying Generics? to say? Generics. Just you know, kick off products that yeah that are not the actual product. Right. They, they make the label look the you know similar. Yeah. The product might, be, but the quality is not. And we're finding a lot of this on the internet that you've got a lot of these fraudulent products floating around. So yeah. again, quality is in the health food stores. We've said this for years. I want it to is. Stay in it. And quality, that's why we do it. That's why we do it. So the quality of product, the quality of knowledge, the quality of education, and the quality of heart. That's what you find in independent health food stores. Nowhere else will you find that. I mean, when it comes to health and wellness, as we do it. So- Claudia, anyway. uh, we'll be on next week. And everybody that's watching, please share. Please tell people about the podcast. Yeah. I always cut it up in the audio, and I post that on Friday. So if you want to send that, for some people, it's easier to listen to the audio because we're so good looking. We're distracting. We know that. <laughs> uh, next week, do we know who our guest is next Tuesday? Well, next week, it's going to be you and I talking about different products for pet health. Ooh. There's a lot of pets that... You know, they get very stressed out during, you know, especially summer months when you have thunderstorms and fireworks, fireworks. and, you know, and, and, and when and animals heat. are traveling, you know, a lot of people take their animals on vacation. Heat. So we're going to go over some wonderful products uh, that will help support pets during stressful times. By the way, my wife just chimed in. She said, when I was pregnant with Olivia, I was taking purple coated prenatal vitamins that caused me indigestion. Yeah. Claudia got me on her natural vitamins and they were amazing. Well, thank you, Sharon. Thank you for saying that. And again, there's nothing more beautiful and powerful than nature and how nature provides these things. When you see a supplement that's pink, purple or green, well, unless it's chlorophyll and the real stuff, but you know, a lot of, a, a lot of supplements in mass market, they have stuff in them that you do not want, you right. know, artificial colors and all this stuff. So. Yeah. All right, Claudia, just like always, I'm going to give you the last word. Well, thank you, Denny. And I miss sitting next to you today, but. It's hot know, up here. You don't want to be up in the attic today. Well, it's hot. I, I, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, to everybody, I just, you know, I'm just going to keep reminding everybody there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on around us and in the world, but we just have to keep sending love out there. We have to keep taking what's in our heart and shining the light. Light changes everything. Light makes everything better and beautiful. And just it's how we express love. So put it out there, everybody, just kindness and all these things nourish your health. You'll feel better. You'll be so happy you did. And again, the more people that come into the side of wellness and they get out of always thinking about disease and sickness and being in fear of it, when you get into the side of wellness, that's where your power is. It's a beautiful place to be. So keep learning, keep nourishing. Thank you for tuning in with Denny and I. We very much appreciate it. Blessings to everybody. Peace.